Um, so, uh, Sophia's class and Danny, her contact is spelled. She's, she's okay with you going? Yeah. Okay. So, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait, video. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it is. So, um, this is number eight. Me, Sophia Hornstein, and uh, Danny Diaz. So, our design hasn't um, changed that much. Um, so, uh, basically the same as last time, we're going to have uh, an intake tube. So, it's going to look, so it, um, it helps to have a mental picture of last year's robot. And so, on the side, there's going to be a tube that's going to, um, that's going to circle around and then hit our shooting mechanism in here. And the shooting mechanism is going to be the same as last year, except everything is going to be on a plane that can adjust its angle with a linear actuator that we can control. Um, we were thinking of doing that last year, but we didn't. But it's definitely feasible. We just have to attach something over here and then put a linear actuator and fasten it down here, and then we can control it. Um, and it's easy to program. So um, we'll have uh, up to three preset angles. So one low angle for shooting into the low goal, one high angle for launching into the, um, into the high goal, and then one medium angle, which we'll use to carry the gear, which is the next part. So um, that's essentially the design. Um, so we're not. I'm not really focusing on the drive. Um, so this is this. This handles collection uh, of the balls as well as shooting the balls. So we're going to shoot them into both targets. Some designs have we're going to dump them from a bucket into the low vault. We're we're not going to do that. We're just going to shoot them all directly in one one at a time, and that's going to be our strategy. And then um, this is like a feeding wheel to get all the balls inside the tube out act out through the shooting mechanism. So that has not changed. And then the other thing that has not changed, which I'm particularly adamant about, is collecting gears. So um, last year, so basically this robot is going to look very similar to last year's robot. So it's going to have a square base and then like an angled um, top. Just like last year, how we had that angled roof. Yeah, except this time it can change the angle. But the idea is that there's going to be a third preset slope for our robot, for the plane, of the shooting plane, and that's going to be to catch the gear, so that the gear will be resting on top of those motors. And the idea is that we're not going to spin those motors. We're just going to have, because uh, spinning those motors is probably going to break the gear, break the motors and everything. So instead what we're going to, have to do is have like a piece that will slide up the ramp and push it into the um, onto the hook, and then this pushing process can be automated because you'll have to move the robot backwards as you push it up, so that the gear actually does get off of the robot. So, but this process, I believe, is has uh, has is good because again, it can be automated. So we just need to figure out how fast to move the gear up and how fast to move the robot backwards to get the gear completely off the robot and then so that it will fall onto Meg. So um, this can just be activated with a button or something. Just like the shooting mechanism last year, it's just going to be kind of similar to that. Yeah, you just push a button and then it will um, do We want it to be parts. faster this year, of course. Last year it looked like one big ball, but we had a lot of these, so probably be best if it's faster this year. Can't hold more and you can go like a more high speed shooting. So, those are our two. Okay. Oh, stop.